I'm Jared Wright with Jan Irish and Discovery. And today's video, I want to talk about you guys staying alert, stay very observant everywhere you go. And what is the purpose of today's video? Well, yesterday, a gas station that I frequent, not too far from where I live, was robbed in the middle of the day by three people. This was something that eyewitnesses said was bizarre to them. But this is how crazy the world is getting today. This gas station was robbed by three people in the middle of the day. They simply went in, started taking stuff from behind the counter. They injured two bystanders who were in there just as customers. And it ended with a guy that was a customer in the store chasing them down and beating them up and throwing one of them off the side of a cliff. Well, I say a cliff. He threw him down the hill, kind of, and he bit the other people. Now, in today's world, is that wise to chase those guys down? Absolutely not. You don't know. There was no weapons that they saw when they were inside the store because all they simply did was go in, shove some people down, injure a couple people, take stuff. But again, this happened in the middle of the day. It was in the afternoon. And this is something to me that it seems like, if, if memory serves me correctly, years ago, most of your robberies took place at night. And I'm sure that's still the case, but it seems like more and more of them seem to be happening during the day and more and more crimes are being committed in broad daylight. But the part of this that was really bizarre to me is is that this wasn't even a holdup. These thugs just went in and started beating up people and stealing stuff from behind the counter. They tried to steal like CBD oil. They tried to steal stuff like that because gas stations carry stuff like that now. But they came in, they did it, and then they and then they left on foot. So they really had no plan because they didn't have a car and from what I've heard that nobody saw a weapon. So they went in to rob a place that it didn't have a weapon and it didn't even have a car. That was bucky for police because that guy that chased him down up there got him and then the police came and they got him on the side of the road. This is why it pays to be vigilant in the middle of the day. Now, should you go and chase down somebody like that just like that guy did? Absolutely not. And here's why. Even though they robbed the store and you were there as a witness, they did not physically attack that guy. But he went out of his way to chase them down up the road on foot, and then he started beating them up on the side of the road. Two problems with that. One, if the police show up and all they hear is that they're suspects and they're just up the road because it got phoned in, they just robbed the store, they don't know if this guy is or not now. That'll get sorted out later, but... The police don't know that. So if the guy tries to approach them, that could end very badly for him. Depending on how he's acting, because he's probably going to be wound up from beating up these other guys. Number two, because he beat them up, now they're going to press charges against him. Now this hasn't been announced yet, but they're going to. Because that's assault. Because they did not attack him even though they robbed the store. This is the way the law works. Now, there's details in there. I'm not a lawyer. But this is the way it works. Because he followed them and assaulted them even though they committed the crime. It is still his responsibility for that. It's the same, it's the same way with everything. And you have to remember as well, you can only fight back with as much force as they're giving to you. Now, if they're attacking you and you have a baton, you have pepper spray, if you have a taser, those are acceptable means to get them off of you and to get them to stop attacking you. Now, if they're unarmed and you have a gun, you cannot just go out and shoot them because then you're going to go to prison for murder and that is also the way that works. This is the thing that a lot of people do not understand. You can't just go around shooting people even though they're robbing a place. Because these three, again, to what everybody knows, they had no weapons on them at all. So, But you'd be perfectly within your right. If they were attacking you now, you didn't go out of your way to attack them. But if they started attacking you, 
you would be perfectly in your right to defend yourself with one of those. Now, obviously, no one to quit. Don't go extreme. Am I saying that this stuff is right or it's fair? Absolutely not. I'm just saying it's the way it is. People need to understand this. But this video is about being vigilant. But I had to tell you that story because it is one about being... It's one of where you need to be vigilant all the time. People have this deal of where they only seem like they think they need to be vigilant if they're out somewhere dangerous at nighttime. Everywhere is dangerous anymore. We've had multiple shootings at shopping centers and stuff. Stuff over here. We have them at gas stations. We have them at supermarkets. That's everywhere. That's everywhere anymore. So you just have to keep this stuff in mind. That this stuff is happening everywhere. So everywhere you go, there is going to be crime, obviously. It's just the way it is. But it's starting to go up more and more. You also have to remember if you're in a tourist area, you're not going to hear about it on the police. You know, The police are not going to report it to the news because they want people to still come to their towns. And that's fine. But at the same time, people should know like what's been going on. Now, tourists are going to be fine in the most part, but know where you're at. If you're in an area to where you should be off the streets by the time the sun is setting, and there's a lot of areas out there like that, believe me, I've been to a bunch of them areas. The best thing you can do is be off the streets, and that is the safest place for you to be. But being vigilant, though, is another thing entirely. Being vigilant... At all times. And it takes a lot of energy to be vigilant. And this is something that's hard. Especially if you're really tired. It's hard to stay focused. For some people it's hard to stay focused at all. But this is something that you really have to really pay attention to. Pay attention to your surroundings. And don't have your earbuds in if you're in the middle of public. Especially in somewhere that you've never been before. And even if you are somewhere that you've been. I mean that gas station that got robbed yesterday. Was a gas station that I frequent quite often again so it's like one of those things of I could have been just in la la land like walking in there of course I don't because you know practice what you preach but of course I don't have earbuds in because I don't have earbuds in out in public now if I'm going down the highway if I'm going on a trip with multiple people and I'm in the back seat yeah I'm gonna have earbuds in I'm gonna be kick back or you know we're gonna be jamming to the radio we're just gonna be having casual conversations that's a little bit different deal going down the road but there's even stuff that happens on the road there's been a ton of road rage shootings and air about uh, it's about 70 80 miles from here there's been a ton of those happen uh, i think it's been about five or six years since the other one happened over here up to the north and everything i mean it was quite a ways away but same thing out there on interstate road rage incident guy comes up guy shoots the guy right there in his car there's, there's little girls in the back seat so you have to be vigilant and if you're driving you should be vigilant anyway because you're out there you shouldn't have earbuds in when you're going down the highway anyway I, I used to have a college professor that would used to drive me nuts he would drive drive down the highway with earbuds in his ears instead of just like listening to his radio like a normal person very strange to me if you ask me but that is just basic things I'm talking about here you have to be focused you have to have your ears unplugged your eyes open your eyes should always be looking around constantly I mean don't look like you're paranoid because people are gonna think that you're up to something but you can glance around casually and stuff and again, nighttime is is a good time to do this, especially if in an area that you're not familiar with, or even if you are familiar with it. What I'm saying is stuff is happening now during the middle of the day in a place that is frequented by people and is only, it's not even a mile, well, it may be a, a full mile. That gas station I'm talking about is only a full mile from a state trooper substation. So they picked literally the worst place to go in and try to rob but people don't care anymore and that's the other reason that you have to be vigilant people don't care if they go to prison anymore people don't care about consequences because they've never had to face consequences for anything that is a big problem in uh 
I feel like in general, across the entire world today, lack of discipline. And no, I'm not even talking about kids getting beat for these things, you know, and getting spankings and stuff. I just mean there's a lack of discipline, period. People don't want to work anymore. I mean, from the time... From the time I was like six years old, I was out there picking up rocks, breaking my back like a working man should be. And I'm not saying that if you don't do that, that you're not, you know, out there trying. I'm just saying that was the way I was raised. So you go out there and you work and you work and you earn and you don't be a burden, burden to society because there are so many burdens to society already. In so many different forms. But people just don't have any discipline anymore. Discipline is also self-control. I mean, it's self-control. It is the ability to... Discipline can be small things. Such as, I've got this money saved, I'm not going to spend it, period. Or, this is what I'm saving for, but I'm not going to touch it. Oh, I could go out with my buddies tonight and spend some of this money, but I'm not because I'm saving it for that trip for me and my girlfriend or me and my wife or I'm saving it to buy that property. I am saving it to do that, so I'm not going to touch it. That's discipline right there. People don't understand that. Stuff like that is just having discipline. Not overeating. Discipline. Cutting back and drinking more water and less sugar. That's discipline. People don't understand that these are basic. Everybody wants to talk about discipline as in, well, you didn't beat your kid or you didn't beat your kid enough when they were little, so that's the reason they act the way they do. And fun fact, parents, psychological fact, you don't really raise your kids. Society does. So, and whoever they hang around is who they become. They slowly become when they're in those developmental ages. And... This makes so much more sense to me because I actually studied psychology in college, behavioral psychology, and this is the reason, and it's kind of scary when you find out this is why people do what they do for these certain reasons. So, you can only do so much. Yes, you can instill some values in your kids, but if they're going out and they are, you know, they're going to be raised by society, like one way or the other. I mean... Because they're going to have to have friends, you know, their friends influence them, but, and the thing is, is, I know for a fact, parents don't know a good friend from a bad friend, because you never can tell, and most of the time when your kids get older, you don't even meet their friends, because that's just, kids have this idea of what's cool, and you, these people today, I was looking at the other high school generations now, and it seems like the majority of them and I just got to say this. The majority of high school kids today make me cringe. They have this attitude problem that... I was up at Farm Fest up here the other day and I saw some kids from my high school that I used to go to. You know, it's been quite a few years back now. Coming up on a high school reunion here pretty soon. But uh, I saw them and I they just made me cringe and I'm like... We didn't act like that whenever we were in high school. I mean, they had this entitled, entitled attitude about them that they look like that they are, they think that they are the hot thing, and then they never, like, really grow out of that. Guys and girls both. You have these guys that think that they are the hot thing, and these girls that think that they are untouchable, and they have this attitude they just have that. I mean, not all of them have it. There's still some really great people out there and stuff, though. But it was just kind of sickening to me to see this firsthand. That this is the way that they change. And like, and some of them had on like because they were from FFA, I was in the agriculture or the agricultural organizations in high school, which I was a huge part of. But they had this, but they had these things on, and it just made me sick. Like, their arrogance just oozed and stuff out of them. And I'm like... It's one of these things of, like... Arrogance is not okay. I mean... And it's like what they say. There's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Arrogance... 
is when you are in over your head. Confidence is when you know that you could, that you're good enough for this and stuff, though. But you always, you know, you always keep yourself in check on it. But there's a very fine line between those two things. Now, how does all this tie into the other video? It goes into the discipline aspects. It goes into this is why you have to be alert. I can tell that big of a difference just by having a three-minute conversation with high school students because I was trying to find one of my old teachers up there. I can find out, though, that they have a... that it's just their attitude, it's their mentality, they're entitled, they're spoiled, and I've known too many people like this, though. I actually was... Uh, I actually was talking to this girl the other day because I was interested in uh, in dating her. And this is actually a true story too, though. But her parent, her dad is a retired surgeon. Her mom is from old money. So they have like millions and millions of dollars. And this is something because I got to know her like old enough for that. But she has this thing of where her parents give her, and she works too at a clinic actually. But her parents give her $2,500 a week. And I asked her, like, I said, how much of that do you have saved? And she's like, oh, well, I don't have any money saved. I spend that every week. I was like, you spend $2,500 a week? There's people out there, there's people out there, like, working now that don't make $2,500 a month. But her parents give her $2,500 a week. That's $120,000 a year. I did the math. Yeah, it's $120,000 a year. It's $10,000 a month, and I'm like, at that rate, why even work if you use your head? You could invest in everything, but people like that are crazy to me because it is this idea of her parents are still giving her money, and I never got an allowance. It was your allowance is the dinner that you get to eat tonight, and I get out there, and you know, you're gonna before I could even really, you know hold a job, I was doing phone work and everything else, and that really taught me a lot, but, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with your parents helping you out, but it just awed me, though, too, this is the entitled generation, though, and, like, stuff like that doesn't help, because they give her $2,500 a week, $120,000 a year, whenever there's people out there that work their lives away every year that aren't even making half of that. People out there that are making a third of that. I used to be like one of those people that wouldn't even be making a third of that. So, keep this stuff in mind, though. Stay vigilant. All this stuff ties in together. Entitledness. Staying vigilant. The attitudes of today's generation. People just don't care anymore. People go and they don't care about prison. It's not a big deal. Easier for them than holding down a job because they go and they get free meals and everything i know this video kind of jumped all over the place guys i apologize about that it's just i kind of had to make my point and then one thing flowed into another but it all connects together for those of you that really know what i was talking about i'm glad maybe this video helped some of you who had never thought about this before to open your eyes but it's just bizarre to me that uh things are starting to happen so close to where i live and it's uh They've been happening, but not quite that close to where I am now. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with Jared Exploration and Discovery. Don't forget, guys, we do have that contest going on. We the $500 giveaway plus that 3K bar knife giveaway. And for all the details on that, go find that contest video to where I give all the updates. There's two or three of them out there now to where I just keep giving continuous updates because we keep adding more and more prizes. That contest will be done though whenever we hit 10,000 subscribers. All you got to do is be subscribed to our channel. You do have to be subscribed beforehand and have the five key words. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys another key word. For those of you who, the first key word has already been given out. This is going to be the second one. So if you guys miss the other one, you're going to have to go back and watch all those videos that have been prior to this one. So the next key word is going to be darkness. Darkness, D A R K, you know, darkness, N E S S, darkness. That'll be the next key word, and there'll be three more 
on the way again they're going to be spread out this one was spread out quite a bit more so <laughs> thank you guys for watching our videos we do truly appreciate it once again i'm jared with jedi exploration discovery god bless you guys take care of each other out there things are getting crazier and crazier and until next time subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads